Dear viewers, welcome to Nur Saad Satellite Station in Tel Alimir TV. We are pleased to extend to you our sincere congratulations on the occasion of the Holy Lent, hoping that it will return to you with goodness and pleasure, and may God show us the joys of His glorious resurrection. Now let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis celebrates the Order of Ash Blessing at the beginning of the Blessed Lent. Patriarch Pizzabella, we must put everything aside except God. The Ministry of Tourism sends Umm al file to UNESCO for inclusion on the World Heritage List. We also have the Holy See and the Sultanate of Oman announces the establishment of diplomatic relations. Welcome back. His Holiness Pope Francis presided over the Holy Mass and the Order of Ash Blessing in celebration of the beginning of the Holy Lent leading up to Easter. The Holy Father gave a homily in which he said, At the time of acceptance I responded to you, and on the day of salvation I rescued you. With this phrase the Apostle Paul helps us to enter into the spirit of the time of Lent and return to the essential and strip ourselves of what burdens us. The Holy Father added, It is the time of grace to apply what the Lord asked of us if we humbly put ourselves under His gaze. Then charity, prayer and fasting will not remain mere external actions, but they will express our truth that we are children of God and brothers and sisters who love one another. Pope Francis concluded his homily by saying, Brothers and sisters, we do not squander the grace of this holy time to gaze to the cross and to be pleased, answering generously the powerful pleas of Lent. At the end of the journey, we will meet with greater joy, the only Lord of life who will make us rise from the ashes. In celebration of the beginning of Lent, the season of preparation for the resurrection of Christ in Easter, His Beatitude Patriarch Pier Battista Pizzabella, Latin Patriarch of Jerusalem, presided over the Ash Wednesday Mass with the participation of a number of bishops and the priests. During the celebration, palm trees' ashes were placed on the heads of the faithful, and the sign of the cross was painted on their forehead. In the homily of the Mass, His Beatitude said, Remember, man, that you are dust, and to dust you return as we must put everything aside except God during the Holy 40th time. The city of Jerusalem is filled with prayers and liturgies that preserve the Christian character of the Holy City. But there is no need to show anything to anyone, as we must pray and fast in secret. Patriarch Pizzabella concluded his homily by asking the Holy Spirit, who led Jesus in desert to guide us and strengthen us during the season of Lent to bear fruit in us. The Office of Catechism, with the support of Pontifical Mission in Amman, held a special course for teachers and catechists from young people, scouts and teachers. This meeting, organized by Franciscan sisters under the title Sin, Salvation and Discipline in a Healthy Environment, more than 60 teachers from all parishes in the governorates participated in this course, which was held at Our Lady of Peace Center, Airport Road. The two-day course was opened by His Excellency Bishop Jamal Abis, who gave a lecture on sin and salvation from the Old Testament to the New Testament. The meeting was concluded with a Mass held by His Excellency for the participants. The second day was dedicated to Dr. Abir Al-Far, who gave three lectures. This day included a Mass chaired by Father Majd al The meeting was concluded with the distribution of souvenirs to the participants. Father Imad Twal, priest of the parish of the Immaculate Heart of Mary for Latin for His, presided over a Mass of renewal for the Scouts' promise of the Patriarchate Scouts and Guides group under the slogan, Arise and Go Quickly. The spiritual guide of the General Assembly, Father Firas Arida, and Father Sliman Hassan, the parish priest, participated in the Mass. Father Imad was handed the necklace of St. George, the patron saint of the World Catholic Scouts, which is the highest rank of Catholic Scouts and the Certificate of Membership of the Brotherhood of St. George, which was announced at the World Catholic Scouts Conference. The Mass was attended by the leaders of the Scouts group, parishioners and supporting leaders in the group. The Minister of Tourism and Antiquities, Makram al Qaisi, made a field visit to the site of the archaeological churches in Umm al-Jmal area to see the reality of the situation and stand on the needs and the level of cleanliness at the site. The Minister stressed the need to pay attention to tourism products, preparing and processing, and work to develop the services provided to visitors to the region by providing the necessary staff to manage the site. The Minister of Tourism was briefed on the progress of work in some projects that will stimulate and develop tourism in the region. While he indicated the need to involve local communities in the northern Badia with the tourism process and development work, Minister Al Qaisi pointed out that the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquity sent to UNESCO the nomination file of the archaeological site of Umm al Jamal to be included on the World Heritage List. 
The Holy See and the Sultanate of Oman agreed to establish full diplomatic relations between them. A joint statement was issued by the two sides to announce the establishment of these relations through the Apostolic Embassy in the Sultanate and the Omani Embassy to the Holy See. The signing ceremony was held at the headquarters of the missions of the Holy See to the United Nations in New York. The joint statement stated that this decision stems from the desire to promote mutual understanding and strengthen friendship and cooperation between the Holy See and the Sultanate of Oman, with confidence that the establishment of diplomatic relations serves the common interest of both parties. Held in the hall of the Cathedral of St. Joseph and St. Teresa in Baghdad, the first Muslim Christian meeting under the title Together Brothers brought together by the Virgin Mary. The meeting was held with the participation of a French delegation and a delegation of scholars of Najaf and the Iraqi Faqih Council, a number of bishops and the apostolic nuncio of Iraq, clerks, nuns, and civil activists. The meeting included words and readings from the Bible and the Quran, as well as personal experiences and religious hymns. After a short break, a seminar was held on the status of women in Christian and Islamic ideology where the speakers stressed that women are complete human beings and that the difference in sex is not a deficiency but complementarity, pointing out that our current world has changed and some inherited concepts must be reconsidered. Under the patronage of His Excellency Bishop Jamal Khadr, Patriarchal Vicar of the Latins in Jordan, and at the invitation of the General Secretariat of Christian Educational Institutions in the Kingdom at the Rosary College School Theatre in Shmisani, a musical evening was held performed by opera singer Bereslav Jerkovic and pianist Rania Jelat. Dr. Basim Asimaan, the regional director of Nursat Office, Jordan and Palestine, along with the Secretary General of Christian Educational Institutions in the Kingdom, Dr. Nabil Khurman, and a number of priests and community figures attended the evening. At the beginning of the evening, the director of the school, Sister Lilial Nimri, welcomed Bishop Khadr and all those present. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Pope Francis celebrates the Order of Ash Blessing at the beginning of the Blessed Lent. Patriarch Pizzabella, we must put everything aside except God. The Ministry of Tourism sends Umm Jamal's file to UNESCO for inclusion on the World Heritage List. The Holy See and the Sultanate of Oman announced the establishment of diplomatic relations. For more information, please visit our website, nursatjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.